Hi, I'm Robin Kerr. I'm one of the reviewers for Physio Network. This coming month, I've reviewed an article on subscapulous tendon repair surgery, a rehabilitation protocol from the USA. It was quite an information dense article, so what we thought we'd do is uh, make a short video of some of the shoulder tests for subscap that you might not be aware of or need a bit of a refresher on, uh, and that way you won't have to do quite so much reading. So there are four main ones for subscapularis. The classic one is the belly press test. What we get the patient to do is come around into slight flexion, internal rotation onto their belly, and we ask them to press in and see what sort of uh, muscular force they can generate there. What a positive test would be, if she was unable to maintain the internal rotation, is that the arm would pull back into the side of the body. And another really useful thing to do is to have both arms and get them to do it both at the same time. Forward and push in, and you can see if there's any asymmetry between the two sides. So obviously Emma hasn't got a problem there. Coming back down again. One of the things that you have to be careful of, if you've got a patient with a fair bit of adiposity on their belly, uh, you may be getting a little bit of a false indicator. I often just use a folder and pop that onto the belly. If you've got a handheld dynam dynamometer, um, you could put that under the hand for a more objective reading. Um, so we'll just do your right hand if you have that one down. Always important that you, you actually place, place the shoulder where you think the test should be performed and then we'll get you just to press into the belly in that direction without any assistance and watching, watching for the angle. Great. So just a comparison from side to side. The next test, it's a very similar position slight flexion, into internal rotation onto the belly, holding the, the therapist holds the elbow up and what we do is ask the patient to keep the hand on the belly. Now if they've got a, a non-patent subscap, you'll probably find that the arm will fall away from the belly. So they won't be able to keep the pressure on and it will drop off that way. It's a belly drop test. The, the classic test that you very see very often for subscap is the, the lift off test. So I might just get you to stand facing that way, just here. Yep. The therapist brings the hand up behind and places it on the patient's back. And we'll just see whether you can lift your arm away from your back without straightening your elbow and come back down. And lift it away again and come back down. And very often what the patients do, if they've got a, a deficient subscap, is you'll see them, they'll, they'll, they'll use their triceps or they'll straighten their elbow or there'll be a cheating action going on. The other way you can test it too, is to see whether um, if you hold the arm away from the body, get them to keep it out there. So if I let go of you, just keep your hand where it is and don't let it drop off. If it was positive, they'd probably drop back in or they'd go down into extension. And then the final test is what we call the bear hug test. It's obviously from this sort of idea. If you cross your hands across your chest, so we're testing her right shoulder. This is one, yep, that's one. Um, if you wanted to use the handheld dynamometer under the fingers, you could. There are some new nice ones now that sync onto the mobile phones, and you can get quite a lot of good feedback about how the progressions are going. With this one, what we do is we get you to pop your fingers here. I'm going to just bring your elbow up. Now, can you kind of feel that I've got your elbow a little bit higher than your hand? Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do is push down onto your shoulder and keep, keep the elbow up as I let go of you. So if she's able to keep the pressure onto the shoulder without the arm dropping down and trying to come into extension, that's also a good sign that the subscap's doing better. Great, thanks.